Andy Reid, editor of the Edison Report, and we're here at the second edition of NY Controlled, and I'm joined by Scott Reisenbush of Ziston Technology. Did I pronounce that correct? It's good enough. Okay. Well, Scott, <laughs> welcome. We're glad you're here. Thank you. Now, Scott, I'll be very honest. I don't know much about your company, but I'm hearing some great things. So tell us a little bit about what you guys do. Sure. So, uh, Ziston Technology is actually a, a, a brand of another company called Q Power, and that's also a brand that, that many people haven't heard of. But uh, Q Power is a major LED manufacturer based in China, and they've been selling and or manufacturing and selling LED drivers to a lot of the big boys. I, I won't name them, you know, right. publicly, uh, but you know. The big boys have been buying our drivers for a long time, uh, over 15 years. And so the owner said, you know what, we should have our own brand in North America. Uh, so that's how Ziston was born. And so we've got over 600 people, uh, a team of about 60 engineers, that we're now launching a whole new wave of LED drivers, sensors, and control gear into the North American market. Okay, tell us a little bit about the role Kasambi plays in your product. So the uh, the CEO of Kasambi is is a great, very close friend of mine, uh, and so uh, Mark Mark McClear, and uh, he's a close friend to a lot of people. He is. He's a, he's he's a fantastic person, and uh, so. You know, when, when I saw what Kasambi was doing in the marketplace and, and how they're doing it, I, I said, you know, great job, Mark. But then I, I looked and I, and I saw some holes in their ecosystem and, and I said, wait a second, let's do this. We'll help you uh, fill out your ecosystem because we see some holes there. So we're going we're gonna to develop hardware for those spe uh, specific areas and in exchange for that, we got introduced to a lot of lighting companies that otherwise wouldn't talk to a brand that they didn't know. Okay. And so it was a win-win. Uh, right. So we launched a whole new wave of Kasambi enabled products and then we're going to follow that up. Well, we are following that up with more, you know, non-Kasambi, zero to 10 dolly stuff. Okay. Yeah. So how long have you been in the U.S. market? Uh, about one year. Yeah. We, uh, we're getting a lot of traction already. Uh, so uh, our first nine months of that year were spent carefully listening and uh, you know meeting with lighting companies and agents and reps distributors stakeholders to find out exactly what their needs were and uh, we're hearing feedback that that's actually kind of unique that we've traveled all over the United States and Canada multiple times to make sure that we got it right okay and so are you mainly targeting uh, <clears throat> the electrical distributor for stock and flow, are you targeting the lighting designer to get on specifications? What is your go-to-market strategy? Uh, so we actually, for a lot of that, we're relying on Kasambi um, because they, you know, they have their their uh, their spec side as well as their OEM side. So we're we're just filling out all the products that are needed for those projects. And so what ends up happening is our stuff ends up getting specced on projects. Okay, this other company that you talked about in China, what was the name? Uh, Q Power. Okay, so here's a tough question for you. In a way, you're competing now against some of Q Power's customers. Correct. Okay, how is that going? Uh, it's, it's not really a problem. Uh, because you know, those customers, they're buying either you know some of the more generic drivers that are not okay. programmable, they're not okay. smart, they don't work with Gasambi, all that kind of stuff. So we're okay. So they're buying more of the commodity grade, and yep. you're more of the specifiable spec grade. Uh, yeah, so absolutely. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, well, yeah. Scott, I wish you well. Thank you. Okay. Very